Hi Muskies, my name is Leah Shire and I'm one of the counselors here in Counseling Services. Right now may be a difficult and confusing time for many. You may be feeling sad, stressed, confused, anxious, or even angry during this time. It's okay and you're allowed to feel this way. I encourage you to talk to others about how you're feeling as they may be experiencing some similar emotions. Today I'm going to give you 10 tips for coping during COVID-19. The first one is maintain a healthy lifestyle. So this is eating healthy foods, um, foods that are going to make you feel better rather than a bunch of sweets and carbs. Exercise on a regular basis. So getting up and moving around, um, engaging in some aerobic activity um, to get your blood pumping, your heart rate up. Um, something that keeps you moving um, on a daily basis. Aim for seven to eight hours of sleep. So this can be important. Um, I know it's difficult to get seven to eight hours of sleep at times, um, but this is especially important in maintaining your overall health. And maybe try some meditation or yoga. Um, this could be something that you've never tried before, um, but this is something that kind of can help with stress and there's lots of different videos online that you can, can follow with the yoga practice or learning how to meditate. Um, some other things to consider are just kind of deep breathing when you're starting to feel overwhelmed. Just sit quietly and take a couple you know, deep breaths in through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. Um, and mindfulness might be something that you uh, might want to try. And then one thing, too, to keep in mind with a healthy lifestyle is avoiding lots of um, caffeine, especially in the afternoon or late evening. Sometimes we're feeling sluggish and, you know, we um, tend to drink more caffeine in the afternoon. Um, but this is something that you want to try to avoid um, as it could uh, be detrimental to your sleep pattern. And then next one is establish a routine. So this is something um, where you want to uh, be consistent. And so if you want to try to start in your day um, at the same time throughout the week. So try to get up at the same time um, each morning, even though you might not, ha you might have a very early class. And then the next day you don't have a very early class and it feels so good to sleep in, right? <laughs> excuse me, um, it's actually more beneficial if you try to wake up at the same time every day, that way your body um, kind of gets into sync. And then same thing with going to sleep. So trying to go to sleep um, roughly around the same time each night. I know weekends can be a little bit more challenging. It may, it may look a little bit different, um, but that might be something to try to do at least throughout the um, Monday through Friday week. And then think about what you, for each day, think about what you want to accomplish during that day. So make a list of goals, what you want to achieve um, for that day. Another thing as far as establishing routine is um, uh, eating throughout the day. So keep it consistent with eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So getting the proper nutrition, like with a healthy lifestyle, that's important too. Okay, and then also... Um, as part of your chain, you know, is to get up and move, like we already said, get up and move, get your body going. Um, it's not good for you to sit all day, so um, do something to get your blood pumping. Okay, uh, one of those things could be going outside. So, um, spending time in nature, it's basically proven um, that it can be um, beneficial to your overall health, um, just being in nature, um, so, you know, go for a walk down in the hollow, um, sit out by the lake. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of different places that you could go, um, but just spending time in nature and getting some fresh air is, it's important to get out of your room and, and, um, get some fresh air. Okay. Reach out to others. So, it may not look the same right now, right? We all know that, um, but it's important to spend time with your friends, spend time um, with your family. 
um, in a safe manner. And so staying connected with people is very important. Um, and it's okay, you know, talk to them about what you miss doing. It's going to look a lot different. There are situations that are going to be different this year. Um, and you may be, you know, feeling like you're missing out on some things. Um, but it's important to reach out and to communicate to others how you're feeling. Um, and just to have that social interaction with people and doing it in a, in a healthy way. Uh, with that, one way you can do that is to use technology to stay connected. And so um, video chats um, with a family or a friend, um, especially now that you're here back on campus, or most of you are back on campus, you know, staying connected with the folks that you have at home. Um, send out a text, a tweet, a snap, or maybe take dog video, right? Just whatever works for you as long as you're staying connected with people that you're engaging with people. And, you know, sometimes during this time, it's easy just to kind of get in the mindset of doing your own thing. And, you know, it's easy to, to kind of binge watch and, you know, take naps and um, do those types of things. Um, but so it's important to make an effort and to make time to stay connected with other people, um, especially when you're feeling lonely. Um, and so that's important too. So if you're starting to feel lonely, maybe think, okay, like I need to reach out to somebody. I need to call somebody. Um, I need some type of social interaction before, you know, it gets to a point where you're feeling overwhelmed. Schedule time, um, for self-care. So this is something that, you know, can be challenging for a lot of students, um, I often hear, I don't have time for that, right? Um, I can't, you know, I can't possibly have time to do anything extra for myself. Um, but this is really important um, and, and it's helpful for your mental health and just for your overall well-being. Um, so take some time. It can be 15, 20 minutes, uh, you know, a day. It could be something you do for an hour or two, you know, whatever works for you. Um, so it could be something that you enjoy. It could be um, a new hobby or skill that you've been wanting to learn how to do, or maybe you just like spending some time alone just to relax and kind of regroup and recharge, you know, listening to music or journaling or, you know, whatever, whatever works for you. Um, it's just finding time, making time for your self care. It's really important. Okay. And the next one is set limits. So limit the amount of screen time and keep track of your social media habits. So um, right now you may be receiving and looking at and listening to a lot of information um, and you want to stay connected. You want to still be social and engage with people, but it's also important to set limits on that because it can be overwhelming. Um, and to, with that, follow people or pages um, that are positive, that are, you know, constantly negative and um, saying negative things about, you know, regardless of whatever is going on. So um, just be aware of that. Also try to limit the amount of screen time you go out the, or you have before you go to bed. Um, and that way you're not receiving a lot of information and the light from your phone and that type of thing. So it's good to kind of um, <clears throat> set some limits there as far as like, okay, half an hour, an hour before I try to go to sleep, I'm not going to look at my phone. Because it's easy to do, right? You have it right there beside your bed. Um, so try to make an effort, you know, start small as far as um, not looking at your phone. Set boundaries. So this kind of goes along with set limits with, with um, screen time, but set boundaries. So again, however you're receiving your information, take breaks from news coverage. Um, limit the ongoing discussion about COVID-19. You know, a lot of the information coming in all at once. It's good to take breaks from that. It's good to talk about something else. Um, it's good to talk about just things that are still occurring somewhat normal in your life um, with your friends and with your family. So just be aware of that. It's okay to, you know, 
excuse yourself from a conversation if it's too much for you as far as talking about COVID and, um, you know, you can just say, okay, this is great, but can we talk about something else, you know, that type of thing. So just kind of um, know your limits for that. The next one is be resilient. So um, think about um, situations in the past that you have handled, um, what worked for you, what skill did you use, how did you get through it. Um, think about are you able to, to do something for someone else right now? Are you able to support someone um, that may need a little extra support? Um, those types of things it you know it's important to to maintain those connections with people and you know and remembering too that this isn't going to last forever so think about okay how have i handled situations in the past how have i gotten through this in the past what worked for me and i recognize that it, this is the first pandemic for most of us so um obviously it's going to look a little bit different but Think about what worked for you or how did you problem solve the situation in the past. And then um, the last one is talk with a counselor or a trusted person. So if you're fine, you know, if you find that you're struggling or, you know, you've talked to your friends and you've talked to your family members and um, they don't know what else to say to you or they're not sure how to help you. Um, always feel free to, to reach out to Counseling Services. Um, you can simply do that by emailing us, counseling at miskingham.edu, um, and we will be able to set you up for an appointment. But it's good to um, talk to someone. And if counseling, you know, isn't the best thing for you right now, you know, talk to someone that you trust, someone that can help you and, you know, be beneficial for you in the way that you need. Um, and, it, you know, in two general, it's just good to talk with whether it be friends or family about the way that you're feeling. But if you find that you're struggling, um, you know, it may be something to consider as talking to a counselor or someone else um, that you feel would be helpful for you. So always keep that in mind. And then the last slide is these are just some resources. Um, counseling services is, is here underneath me. Um, and then All Well is a local um, community mental health, and they have a COVID-19 stress line that you can call directly. So if you have specific concerns or you know, stressed about that, they have that. And then there's the crisis text line, the Trevor Project, crisis hotline, and the suicide prevention hotline. So these resources are also available as well. So um, that concludes the tips. If you have any questions or concerns um, about anything, or like I said earlier, if you want to make an appointment, you can simply contact us at counseling at miskingham.edu. And we hope you have a great semester and um, stay well. Thanks.